Hello there, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep with breaking news. Retro Games Limited have announced the A500 Mini. Wi-Fi Sheep would like to say a huge thank you to all of you that kindly support us. Help us continue to bring new videos like this. Join patreon.com forward slash Wi-Fi Sheep from just $1 a month. Hello there and welcome back to Wi-Fi Sheep with some breaking news for this Tuesday, the August the 10th, 2021. Retro Games Limited have announced a brand new system. These of course are the makers of the C64, its mini counterpart and the VIC-20. Uh, they did announce they were going to be doing an Amiga system and they've actually you know, come out with a little bit more concrete information. However, it is another mini system without a working keyboard. You can excuse me if I'm a little um, underwhelmed, put it that way. Also, interestingly, their website, which originally announced this this morning, has now disappeared and I can't find a page. I do have it cached, so what you're looking at is a copy of this page. It looks like it was copied from uh, the C64 data because some of the facts and information in there actually isn't correct. So it, later on it talks about being able to run VIC-20 and C64 stuff. What? That's, what are you talking about? So uh, there's some stuff that's not right. And then the page disappeared altogether as so you can't find it at the moment. It'll probably come back up probably before I get this uh, up, uploaded to YouTube. But yeah, so it's a little bit of a rushed um, press release this morning. I'm pleased I didn't rush into making a video first thing this morning. It's now just come about one o'clock in the afternoon here in the UK when I'm recording this because there's been some more information that's come to light and there are some things I was going to get uh, pick up on that I now am corrected with so I'm pleased I didn't rush into uh, doing that video. I've just got my phone here um, Basically, because all the information has disappeared off the website, so I'm just going through uh, the Facebook group posts. Um, so this is on the C64 from Retro Games Limited's official uh, Facebook post. Um, okay, so I'll just read what it says uh, quickly. So the the A500 Mini, uh, now other classic consoles are just toys. That's a problem statement right there but anyway okay so 24 Amiga classics including Worms, uh, the Chaos Engine, Another World, Simon and the Sorcerer all featured on the A500 Mini uh, containing the popular timeline of timeless classic consoles being given a new lease of life uh, today Retro Games, Retro Games announces the creation of yeah a500 Mini, fully licensed reimagining of the much loved 16 bit home computer system. Uh, due for early 2022, the A500 Mini is homage to the 80s heyday of 16 bit personal computing, inspired by the 1987 release of the Amiga 500, uh, which featured a 16 and 32 bit CPU. Yes, a 512k RAM. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just we'll just roll down a bit. So the A500 Mini comes with original style two button mouse and newly engineered eight button precision gamepad, allowing you to choose your control methods. The on-screen keyboard you can plug in an external standard PC keyboard for additional functionality. Suggested retail price in British pound sterling. $119.99 US dollars if it ever gets to the US you're looking at $139.99 first of all as always when I do these videos I'm in no way affiliated with Retro Games Limited this is not a sponsored video I am not involved in this project I'm not paid to talk about this project so everything I talk about and do with their products is off my own back and because of my own personal interest I got to be honest with you, I've never been an Amiga user. I don't know how popular the Amiga is. I know there's this core hub of hardcore Commodore Amiga users, especially here in Europe, um, who will hear nothing bad said about their system at all. And then there's the rest of us. So when Retro Games Limited came out with the Commodore clone, the C64, and they originally went to crowdfunder to get that uh, kickstarted and whatever, that made sense, okay? 
Commodore 64, most people, even if they're just vaguely interested as in retro computing, or they remember having one if they're now in their 40s or 50s when they were a child, yeah, you could sort of understand that there was a market for a Commodore 64. The minute you start switching into Amiga, this is much later on, this is late 80s, 90s, most people would have gone from Commodore straight to IBM PCs and Windows, and like most of us did. So I don't know what the kind of nostalgic retro play factor they will be in trying to sell these. Now, the full-size one, maybe out of a curiosity, a bit like when we finally got the full-size C64, working keyboard, brand new clone um, to a certain degree, but doing a mini, another mini without a working keyboard. Now, I bought the C64 Mini originally because originally they crowdfunded and it was going to be a compatible clone system of the Commodore 64, which was meant to accept things like the original cartridges and some of the original hardware. That, of course, didn't happen. They then turned around and created a mini console because they needed to kind of cash in on the whole uh, NES Classic mini sort of bubble that was happening at the time a few years ago. And uh, they created a Linux box, which was basically a sort of Raspberry Pi type device. It wasn't Raspberry Pi, it was a, their own clone system using the all winner ARM processor Linux kernel. And they ran the Vice emulator on top of that. Can I point out the freely available open source Vice emulator? And of course, they packed in with some licensed games and they built up a, a front end in C. Um, it wasn't an 8 bit system, it's actually a 32 bit computer. Um, it was all right sort of when it first came out it didn't work very well but they did to their credit they did patch it i bought one because i didn't think we were going to get the full size one um i wasn't part of the kickstarter i just i bought it when it came out for retail and then when the full size one came out i thought okay i'll buy that mainly because i have a youtube channel and this sort of stuff is of interest to other people it was not so much interest to myself personally however with these products we have gone on and done a number of different projects and you can check out the playlist for everything C64 and Commodore 64 right here on the channel. Those of you who have been with me a while will remember what happened to my C64 Mini. I got fed up with it quite quickly, especially the rubbish sort of keyboard that didn't work in the front of it. Um, yeah, got a bit fed up with it and I did a repack and I changed it into a fully working C64 Maxi. This is before the official one actually came out. And you can, of course, check out that video as well, which is hugely popular on this channel. So if I was handed this new device, um, being me, I'd probably <laughs> repack it into something else because I just get frustrated with it very quickly. I was about to really rip into it about probably lack of USB ports. This was a problem that the C64 Mini had, that if you wanted to do anything with it, you had to plug in a keyboard. And then if you wanted to add your own games, you had to load them off USB stick, so that took up the two uh, USB um, outports on the device. I'm pleased to say, and I noticed this only early this afternoon, just before I came in to start recording this video, that the Mini does appear to have three USB ports on the back of it. So one for mouse, one for this new gamepad controller thing, and one for adding a keyboard or I suppose a USB device but again, you might still end up needing a hub with it. I really, really wish they would just stop this whole mini console thing now, just go and build the full size one with the working keyboard that's gonna interest more people. Are you gonna get the interest you did for the Commodore 64 clone? I have no idea. I somehow highly doubt it. I don't know anything about Amiga. I was not an Amiga user myself, I've already said that. The one thing I did think it'd be nice if it actually ran was Workbench, which was Amiga's sort of early point and click desktop uh, GUI system. So far, no mention about Workbench. Uh, it seems to have one of these sort of C um, wrappers, C coded wrappers that you boot up like you had on the C64. And uh, you can select the games for a nice sort of 32 bit menu in HD, and then it will load up an emulator and play the game. Okay, but the Amiga was a lot more than just a game box. So a bit like with the C64, the thing that actually interested me was the fact you could add ROMs to it and it came with built-in Commodore Basic. So the machine was actually programmable. We're not sure with this machine if it is actually programmable. 
and what sort of operating system it comes with. Does it have Workbench? Can you load it like a classic Amiga? I have no idea. And it's, yeah, that's the sort of thing that would personally interest me if I was coming to this product, because I'm, I'm not a user, so this is going to be brand new to me. And I just don't know. I really don't know. And that price point seems high. Of course, the big question is, if you do buy this and you're an enthusiast, technical enthusiast, then you end up doing a repack and you want to run Amiga, would you be better off just with the Raspberry Pi and Retro Pi, which, by the way, is now officially recognised and endorsed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation? I know some of you are going to say, well, it's not for those sort of people. It's for off-the-shelf people who just want to buy the system and play the games. Yeah, I get that. And with the um, C64, that made sense, because a lot of people just want to play the games. But I think the Amiga wasn't that a bit more than just a games box. So... <sighs> You tell me, what do you think? I don't know about this, but I'm not overly impressed at the moment, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me right here on Wi-Fi Sheep. If you haven't done already, please do consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Do check out our C64 Commodore 64 playlist for all the project work we've done so far with the Retro Games products, and I will keep you up to date on any more developments. Until next time, thanks for joining me. All the best, and bye for now.